most feared individual is a person who is fearless, who don't fear a man or woman walking the face of the earth or even a circumstance. Some people fear losing so much that they will stay in their dead end job because they don't want to lose the small thing that they already got. Sometimes God just have us in testing. Well, what will you give up in order to receive your greater? No, 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 no. But fear causes us to create these horror stories in our mind. These horror stories of what could happen. Oh, if I leave this job, then I don't know what's going to happen to, or if I, if I don't, if I don't stay with this man and I just then all my dreams and all my, you have thought of every reason why your life is not going to work. You have placed stories in your mind. You made them up. I'm talking to you. Sometimes it's not the outcome. We think about what if we fall, but we never think about what happens if we fly. Yeah, sometimes fear is the thing that's keeping us from our greater. That spirit of abundance that's supposed to be surrounding our life, that overflow that we're supposed to be walking in, you're fearful. Sometimes some of you need to get up from your desk and stand up to your ball straight up. Sometimes these people that sign their names on your check think that they are your God. Denounce that. Renounce that. It's that season to do so. Yes, some of us, we need to move. Listen, these people, yeah, you may be a manager, but you're not my God. When people come to you and say things to you, accuse you falsely on these jobs, but you're in fear of losing something, so you take it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You are a child of the most high. You stand in that, okay? God is your vindicator, but at the same time, sometimes we shut up when we need to speak. Correct that. Point of clarification, I didn't do that. This is what took place. Yes, fear keeps you from speaking what needs to be spoken. Fear keeps you from telling your truth. Tell the truth. Even if you're exiled, say what you have to say. Walk in that authority. It's necessary. Sometimes we will stay in toxic situations. Mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin. In fear. Well, what if I'm out in this world alone? Well, what if you find some people that could change your life? What if you? You could go into a gas station, meet somebody overnight, they change your life. You don't know. You've been stuck crazy to these situations that have kept you bound over fear. The horror stories that you've created that has not come to pass. The wicked imaginations cast that down in this season. Some of you all, you know that you should be with a particular woman. Some of you women, you know you should be with a particular man. Fear kept you bound, kept you in bondage for years. It's time to take that jacket of fear off. Some of you are cloaked in it. No, 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 no. The time when you become your freest, the time when you begin to, uh, to experience life and life more abundantly is when you say, God, I don't fear anybody but you. That's the most dangerous creature. And yes, people will come around you and try to project things off on you. They'll get aggressive with you, try to bully you, but you better stand your ground in this season. Fear will not keep me bound. Fear will not stop me from saying things that I know I should say. No, 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 no. You're a child of the most high. This is a video to help you identify. You don't belong to fear. You belong to God. Take that off. Some people have given you fear at an early age. You walking around fearing certain things that you shouldn't. You have dominion and power over that. Why are you scared? Fear not is what God said a lot of the times in the Bible. Fear not. Don't allow people to project their insecurities off on you. Don't allow fear to grab you and cripple you and keep you from your greater. This is a message from somebody. If in this season you don't move from fear, it's going to take the rest of your life. I love you much. Mwah.